the autumn wind brings a pirate ship that frolics across the sea that both common man and superfan ride upon with glee. It sets its sails on Sunday with a stool upon its mast, and that sounds the ring of the internet's king and a bristling black mustache. The autumn wind brings outlaws misunderstood and feared, and blow for blow they'll vanquish foes while drinking down their tears. The world amazed, all singing praise with Casey Smith upon the stage, Dave and Dan, Dan and Dave. Really? Ain't nobody care about Dan and Dave. It's prime time, baby. Welcome to the Pro Football Football Show presented by the Chevy Silverado, the strongest, most advanced Silverado ever. It is still Thanksgiving weekend. It is Sunday. Uh, we're in New York right now. We had quite an episode on Thursday with your guy, Jamie. He, he came in. If you guys missed that, you should go back and look because we I, fought like a family on Thanksgiving Day. great. I want him back. Yeah, and he's <laughs> probably going to end up like doing shit with us. You know, Dion puts him in there. He fits right in. So who knows? I mean, he literally walked on set, sat right between Dan and Dave. Wait, and we fought, and we just argued about football. It's you guys argued. Thing. So that position between those two is vital. If you get between them, they, you wedge the argument. Yeah. Huh? Well, let's get into these games for Sunday. So the records. I know you had a problem with the records off the top of the show, Dion. Yeah, I so, don't. I, I got to really look at. Are we taking these picks or prime picks? Because I don't think I was seven and seven. I really don't. So well, you went seven and seven. Huh. I don't think. I Dan don't. and Dave you went eight and six. Both sides, Dan. Yeah. I don't. We have, I want to know what side and they take, though. What they side did they take? They take well, the you show. want them to take, if you win, you. Uh, nope. No. Sorry. No. Sorry. They take this show. Seven and seven from this show. Can we talk about the Vikings real quick? I got it's screwed. That hurt. I got did screwed. Get, did, you did, see, did you see the news that came out no. uh, last night mm -hmm. about what? Mike McCarthy before the game? Yeah, I actually want to say that. I should throw a flag. Mike McCarthy before the game against the Vikings, he got the Dallas team together in the hotel on Saturday night, and he smashed a watermelon in front of everyone and said, we're going to smash the Vikings. That should be illegal. I should have known that beforehand. You I would have changed actually, my pick. Sure. What did that's the type of game. Motivation. You don't think that's why they won? No. <laughs> you don't know anything about football. You do not know anything about football. You don't think that had anything to do with it? No. <laughs> smashed a watermelon. You smashed a watermelon. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that was huge. That, oh, man. That really did, they really get, did they win the game? They that did. really motivated me. They won I'm the just game. thinking that if I was in that room, would I have got up and walked out? Mm -hmm. You think Andy Dalton liked that, though? It's not for the it's not for the star players, okay? It's for the rest of the guys. It's for the rest of the guys that need that little extra something. And, and and you know what you lost out on too, chain. I may ride with that. I need a week to think about that. How did I lose that on chain? Because you were too too big of a uh, pussy to bet on the Patriots not making the playoffs. Right? Mm. Oh. Last week you're like, no, give me one more week to think about. Oh, it. You know what? True. Offer rescinded. You're right. We were that like there. We were like that close oh. to shaking. Yep. Pulled it no. off. I was scared. Damn. No, yeah. shouldn't you have know been. What? Yeah. Shouldn't you cost have yourself. Been. What did we? I forget what it was. Five grand or so. It was a chain. It was a big bet. It was a big Damn. bet. You said no. Yeah. yeah. You pulled I, out, pussy. Damn. I did. <laughs> Damn. Yep. We've also got your guy, Glennie Balls, back on the, the weather map That's over my there. That's my guy. Hi, Glennie. Oh, Been filmed by Tongstown. He's looking That's great. What do you think about his, his Santa Claus shirt? Black Blenny's Friday. Good. Blenny, What's up with those sleeves, Glennie? They're a little long. Yeah, I know. I had to wear a 3X. And <laughs> Blenny, I know they're long. Glennie, you look really slimmer in I didn't pick colors. the sleeves. They're long. What are you going to do? Those are your colors, Glennie. Thank you. I appreciate that. So anytime throughout this episode, we can always go to Glennie. Yeah. I don't want to tease something that is oh. like months and months away. Oh. But I have been working on, and, and I get so busy, there's not a, thing, a lot of things I truly pay attention to, but get involved in. Balls Beachwear. Mm -hmm. Balls Beachwear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we balls have. Beach balls Beachwear. We have a line of Hawaiian shirts coming out spring 2021 mm -hmm. balls that are beachwear. Balls Beachwear. So it's Big BB. Be, be, be. Yeah. Balls Beachwear. You know what? Yes. I'm, I'm going to buy. In there, I, I know electric. I can get it free, but I'm going to buy. They're electric. You have to. Does, are buy there swim some. trunks too? Or not yes, sure. they're both. Oh. Matching? You're, yeah, they have everything. It, it's fire. Like I, it's a lifestyle brand. Glenny, you're gonna you want to be seen in Glenny. Glenny designer. Yeah. Yes, I, I, I've been told. I've been involved. I'm very, 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 very excited. This is. Have you already picked out all the patterns? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. But he hasn't. I have. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> I told you, he I'm very him. involved in it. Yeah, yeah. I'm it, it, like the, the, the patch in the back of the neck. Is there a picture of Glenny Balls in there? No, these are like you'd want to wear these legitimately. Yeah. Like but we're taking down Glenny like Tyron Bahamas. That's the line. Well, yeah, in the back. He's like a jump yeah. man from Jordan. We need a, a big yeah. Balls. Oh, man. that is. That's right, a, but I mean, these like are. A silhouette of I Glenny? Mean, yeah, a silhouette of Glenny like, Balls. Those are like those are incredible. They're that's actually a, that's actually a good looking shirt. Yeah, they're like very nice. It's not like a joke. This right. Balls like oh, that was oh those are good. I yeah. like yeah. that. There we go, Balls. There balls you go, Glenny. Wear. You're a designer now, New York City designer. I'm very uh, yeah. It's a serious I mean, thing. Like I'm gonna we're gonna be the biggest Hawaiian shirt. They're, they're actually. I want to like, get. Uh, oh, man, what's the big fashion nice. show here in New York? Fashion yeah. Week every year. New York Fashion Week. Yeah. yeah Glenny Balls gonna be in Fashion that's, Week. That, we should oh. definitely get. And he has to walk the runway. Balls wear. Dave, make that happen. Yes. You can do that. Balls, with your permission, I would like to do a, a guest shirt on the Balls Beach. I, I would love that. Absolutely. I, I mean, I, that's on the runway. Yeah, I want a guest shirt. That sounds I so want to design a shirt. Sorry, I got distracted. Okay, so no, Under the Balls Beach. Spring of 2021. Like spring 21 collection. I like 21 that. 21 collection. The Balls Beach wear. Something to look yep. forward to. Yes. All right. Let's get into something that's happening today. The storyline games of the week. Let's go. The Los Angeles Chargers at the Buffalo Bills. Now, the Chargers beat the Jets, but everybody's beating the Jets. And then the Bills had a bye. And Dan and Dave, you guys have loved Josh Allen. You finally got Dion on the loving Josh Allen train. Yeah, I, I like, I've been liking him from no, the beginning. No, he doesn't love, he likes him. Likes him. I like him. Oh, he you loves Lamar, love, right. he likes okay. Josh. Okay. Oh, Lamar's like, the MVP. But what about Justin I mean, Herbert? How many times are we going to say that? No, Can't Justin Herbert. Where are we on the love and like He's scale? coming. Okay. But I'm going to tell you what, you got to slow down because we always give these guys all this credit. Then they run up against a good defense and they look horrible. Just a couple weeks ago, we won Randy Raven by Justin Herbert, right? Randy, yeah. He, ran into a buzzsaw. Yeah, he's uh, he actually. We should also give a little credit to Keenan Allen for being like he's leading the league in receptions, Keenan which Allen's is not. Adult. It doesn't get talked about. He's you don't. Adult. If you said who's leading the league in receptions right now, I would guess nine out of ten people wouldn't get Keenan Allen as as the answer to that question. So he's awesome. I just love the over in this game, and I'll take the Bills. Do you think that Justin Herbert is the for sure rookie of the year now that Joe Burrow went down? He would have been the rookie of the year right now if Even Joe Burrow yeah. was up. Okay. Yeah. I mean, he's playing. I would have to look and see. I would say nah, Jerry Judy's been injured a little bit. He's been awesome. Um, yeah, probably Justin Herbert. They always give it to quarterbacks. He's getting. Oh wait, what about Justin Jefferson? He's bowling. I mean, he's been incredible for he's the been Vikings. Incredible. So I would. But a I would maybe put him in there. When a quarterback plays halfway Justin decent, they're going to get twenty-two TDs, six yeah. inches. I haven't been on the Herbert train, but he's having a great year, no doubt. I'll take the Bills here. I'm rooting for the Bills. I love Buffalo. I'd love to see them. Uh, make a run at everything. So I'm just rooting for them. And they should win this game, but I think it'll be close. Yeah. I like the Bills right here. I, I really – I wish the Bills defense from a year ago I would know. show up. I know. Then, trust me, I'm, I'm taking them two rounds in the playoffs if that defense from last year would show up. And they're not right now. But I'm taking the Bills in this game. So it's a good point. Bills but, across the board? Yeah. Okay. That playoff game still haunts me when the guy didn't get up, yeah. who recovered the fumble and just laid there. Yeah. I knew I put I put a pin in it when it happened. I'm it like did. that. It was like in the second quarter. It, it, it was third. It, yeah. it was third. It would have ended the game. <laughs> Let's go to the Kansas City Chiefs at the Tampa Bay Bucks. Now, Dan, you did call the Tom Brady Monday Night Football situation. You said it's too late for him. He's too old. He did have the interception at the end of the game. Didn't look great. So what do you think about him playing the Chiefs? He's played four games at night this year. He lost to the Bears. Bad team. He got smoked by the Saints. He beat the Giants by two. Not a great team. And then he lost to the Rams. I mean, I, the proof is in the pudding now. He, he's actually lost. It's not only this. He's lost his last go back to the Patriots. He's lost his last seven primetime games. It's I, I, the you know. late night. And I don't. I, the, this one's at 425, though. You can't judge. People will try to bash Brady on the way out. It's, he's 43 years old. But this team... I can't. I don't know what the Ram. The Bucks remind me of that team. The Eagles. Trying, yeah, the Eagles. The Super Team Eagles. Every they have so many names, but as a team, they, there's just something off. And, and, and it's not only the names. And I talked about it a little bit on Thursday. I, I'm rooting for the Bucks. I just said the Bills, but I, I root for Tom Brady. They got Gronk, who I love too. Um, but you know, Gronk. He's not getting separation anymore. There's a couple of plays he doesn't have the speed he used to have. Brady's old. It's just an older group, some of the great players. And they're running the wrong offense. They're running Bruce Arians' offense where Tom Brady has to, like, it's like four verticals every, every time. Like, Tom Brady is, when Tom Brady was at his peak, he would slice and dice you down the field and be perfect for 11 plays in a row and absolutely kill your soul. There well, is also an element, what you said, 
and people want Bass Brady or whatever, he's not going to be prime Brady forever. It's just humanly impossible. He's still a very good quarterback, but you know these guys just may be what they are, which is about their record. I, yeah. I agree with both you guys to a certain extent. Schematically, I don't think I don't like it. Schematically, yeah. in the offense, I need Tom Brady needs an Edelman. He needed a Wes Welker. Wes Welker. He needed a guy that's going to move the change. I don't see that little do you, guy. Do you know what his name is? His name's Scotty Miller. Yes. And when you bring in Antonio Brown, you push Scotty Miller yeah, off the field. Yeah. Yeah. And and I don't think it's Antonio. I think it's the other guy, the the the, the second. Godwin. Not, yeah. That's who I think it is. Now, also, they need a running game, a little more stability at the running game, a little more protection on the line. But defensively, man, this team is just, they started out really good, but they're not good anymore. For some reason, they're not really stopping people like they should. Let's not forget, this was a middle-of-the-road football team mm -hmm. last year. We all of a sudden, just because they include Brady, they ain't supposed to win the whole well, division. Well, they didn't just include Their Brady. defense is still good, but you saw it on Monday night. Sean McVay was able to scheme up. Like, Jared Goff, the game plan was clear. He threw it like 60 times. They're and they were able good. to get those little plays, those slice and dice, which we just talked about. Like, they were able to do that to the box. I don't know why Bruce Arians doesn't let Tom Brady Let, me, let me give you something for Brady them. fans. For Brady fans, we just got finished swinging on Justin Herbert's Glenny Balls, okay? 68% <laughs> completion percentage, 22 touchdowns, 6 picks. Josh Allen. Same thing, 21-7, 68%. Tom Brady, 66%, 23-7. They're the same type of statistics, but it's, the games, but it's Tom it's the, it's Brady. It's also the big games, the, the, the Saints the games, the Bears game, yeah. this game. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's, that's when it changes. It, I, yeah. It, it, well, no, you're right. It's that and it's Tom Brady. It's Tom Brady. So he's a different he's standard. He's a different, a different guy. Standard and you exactly. hold him to a standard that a 43, I mean, I'm not going to reset, but who, who's his rival? Who, who's the guy? It's Peyton Manning, right? That's the guy. Peyton Manning is now. Drew Brees. Yeah, yeah, Drew Brees well, is 41. Yeah, but I wouldn't say Drew Brees is ever like, when, when it was Brady right. and, and. Drew Brees has his issues too that I'm talking right, about. Right, true. But when it was Brady and Manning, it, when people weren't saying Brady, Manning, right. Brees, it was well, Brady and Manning. Like the, the, age the level of the Brees. team. Right. Yeah, yeah, and he, he's been out of the league. So, I mean, you're holding him to, the, which he should, he, he's established it, the greatest of all time. He's a, he's a very good quarterback. Mm -hmm. By the way, on the other side, I, Mahomes has reached that final level of like super super stardom. Where so it's like MVP, Super Bowl MVP, resumes there forever. But now he's at that last level where they get the ball against the Raiders, and there was not you a know, doubt you in know. your mind right. that he was going to take him down the field and, and score and a touchdown. And Tom Brady Mahomes. has had that in his career, right. too. Right. You know, Rodgers, Tom Brady, Russell Wilson, right. the these guys, they have it. Man, the creativity crazy. in the play calling. It's, un, it's so far out there. They're like running the college slash pro offense, and Eric Bieniemy and he better be a head coach. It's going to be some, some, some mess, I promise you. This team right here, they have like four number ones. The tight end is a one. No, yeah. I, they, yeah. Make, they got four number one receivers. I These always, guys I'm glad you said that, though, because I, and we talk about it all the time. I a lot of times feel like the weapons and everything, because we're saying it with Bray, it's a chicken or the egg. Like, if your offense is yeah. moving, suddenly everybody's a weapon. When you're not doing it, nobody is weapons. So he's great, but I think Mahomes makes it. Mahomes is on other teams. It's probably, oh, look at all the weapons. It, it's almost like what Brady used to do. Yeah. Like Wes Welker wasn't talked about how Wes Welker was until he was there. True. Edelman did, like, is he, you know, so you have great quarterbacks that all plays together. Question for you, Dion. You had the Bucs on your list of teams that could win the Super Bowl. Is yep. still there? Yep. They can't. I'm not pulling so. out. I'm not pulling out. You got to beat a good team. True, but I'm not pulling out. You, who's good in the NFC? The Rams are probably the epitome of the everything. Rams, the Rams, the Packers, and the Saints. I mean, okay. they lost twice to the Saints. Okay, they beat the brakes off the Packers. Okay, now yeah. you got the Rams. I don't trust. That the was a shootout, and Brady didn't play well last yeah. night, so they're right up there. I think the Saints are. The, the, the Saints have clearly have their number. They beat them twice this year, so that would make you. Is Drew Brees? He's got everything inside of him broken. Taysom Hill. And you you're know, I like Taysom Hill. Hill. You like Taysom Hill. I like, I you like Taysom Hill. I, I love too. me some Taysom Hill. So are you going to take the Chiefs or the Bucks? I'm taking the Chiefs. Taysom. I'm Chiefs. Chiefs. Although Chiefs. it's going to be a good game. <laughs> and it's 425, so Brady won't be too tired. Yes. All right, let's go to the Sunday night football game. The Bears at uh, the Packers. Deanna, I'll let you start because we know where Dan's going to go with this. So I'm speaking of the Packers, I don't even want to talk about it. You don't even want to talk about it? I don't want to talk about it. This game stinks. I don't want to talk about it. Is Aaron Rodgers the MVP right now? No. No? No. Who is? Mahomes is the MVP right now. I mean, like, he's he's. He's a block away from everybody else. Yes. Okay. Dave? Pack. I'm taking the Bears. I, 
Don't do it, dude. No, because I here I'm t- I'm gonna be honest with you right now, Dion. It's, we're taping this on Tuesday. I don't feel so good about this game. By Sunday morning, I'll feel great. I see. When I say that, you jump all over me. Well, no, t- no, he he's just doing it. He doesn't. He'll never really. He's a it's Bears fan. I, I will just, get there. I will get was, there. Yeah. I will. It but takes. I'm, I'm it's a, a process. I wanted to pick the Falcons last week, but I, I didn't have, and I really felt like inside they were going to win. It's a process. I could not do it. Yeah, but it's a process. By Sunday morning, I'll be like, you know what? The Bears defense can do something here. Dan, is there any way that we see Mitch Trubisky at all? I. They're both injured, Foles and Trubisky. So I did Tyler Trubisky Bray. What? He played like one we, play, right? How do you get injured? <laughs> The Bears ran wildcat with their quarterback. Now, that sentence doesn't actually make sense because that's just shotgun. Mm-hmm. But for the Bears, it was wildcat. They brought in Mitch Trubisky to run wildcat. And he's he a quarterback, it. and he's standing in shotgun. They called it wildcat, but that's actually just, for the rest of the league, that is just running your offense, mm-hmm. shotgun formation, and he got hurt. One play. On the wildcat. One it's play. incredible to even like say it out loud. Like, the fact that they called that wildcat. So it's just a run. It's your quarterback. You don't. I understand that as a coach. It's your formation, though. It's the formation. I understand, but it's your. Yeah, it's but a quarterback. The, but the wildcat <laughs> traditionally was the running back. Run, run, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your quarterback. But it's, it's see. Sometimes you just give a player a name. Yeah, right. Everybody knows what to do. Right. So it could be wildcat. You already know that quarterback is in the gun, running back in the gun, and you're going. Who right. invented wildcat? Was it McFadden at no, Arkansas? No, 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 no. It was the Dolphins. No, but before that, it was McFadden at Arkansas. Oh, it might have been. Yeah. He did that. Well, Ronnie yeah. Brown. He, yeah, then, uh, it, then it was no, 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 way, McFadden was way successful at Arkansas. Yeah, and they ran. Yeah, they yeah. ran. And then it was yes. Soprano. Is that the guy who? Who's uh, the, Sperano. Sperano, Sperano. Yeah. Wait, who was the other and they running beat back? The Patri- they beat the. They killed the Patriots. The, the running with the back wide. slash quarterback name was Tebow. And who no, was it was a my, it was a Auburn heard running back. Of him? Cadillac Williams. Who was the other running Best back in ever. Arkansas? It was. It was. He just said it. No, no. But who was the other one? There was another one. They had it together. No, McFadden. No, but there was two guys. They would run it together. I don't remember. We got to get that name. That's going to drop. The, I, the, the Dolphins beat the Patriots in the midst of the Patriots like dynasty with the Wildcat, and everyone thought it was the future of the Shit. NFL. Yep. Yeah, no, massive like the NFL. Games. And we're still <laughs> running it in 2020, and it never works. Cam runs it. He does. Cam runs it. It's it doesn't easy. really work. But he like what well, he. But it does. But, yeah. but I don't. Not they don't call that's that. A, that's a quarterback. But wrong. they don't call that the wildcat when it's a quarterback because you don't. If he's in the thing, you, he could th- like the wildcat literally Felix was Jones. the running back. Felix they were Jones. just running every Felix play. Jones. Felix Jones. But people Felix Jones. do it because of the formation. Right. Felix Jones was. I like Felix yeah. Jones too. But like we 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 have a play called Nicki Minaj. Like we would just name oh. plays. Oh. Nice. It's a fake. Yeah. <laughs> I see I like what you that. did there. Yeah. I love Nikki now. I'm just I, I love Nikki that too. That thing. Basically. I'm talking mm-hmm. about that thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You like her Cardi more? <laughs> Nikki or Cardi? One. That's a good one. I love both of them. Saw so Cardi B at 11 in Miami. You oh, I heard you were dating her. her. What time? Yeah, I heard you were dating her. It was like 3 a.m. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't. Can we start that one, Dan? I'd have been yeah. flipping my pillow from Stuck slobbering down. on one side. That's one you want. Yeah. yeah. Dave's dating Cardi Dave can handle that. I don't think that was believable. That's be like a roller coaster. No. I definitely could. Dave. You have to put a seatbelt on, dog. I'm just telling you. I'm not worried about it. I'm never going to be in that position. You never know. You never, you never, you never say never, Dave. I heard, never you say got, never, Dave. I heard you got real game, Dave. I, I know. I know I'm not in that position. <laughs> <laughs> in like two years, yeah, you're going to no, see him with no. Cardi. Like, I told no, you. No, I know. He's like, know. you know what, man? I told you, you so. told me. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get to some more games in just a put second. Put your seatbelt on. <laughs> You need to just buy him a seatbelt. That's what yeah. you need. Go to Miami and buy him a seatbelt. There's some Heelys on, too, for them. <laughs> Slide off that thing. <laughs> Let's Not worried to- about it. <laughs> <laughs> Quite a visual. Let's go to hashtag truth presented by the Chevy Silverado. In football, you want players who can tackle anything, and the same is true with trucks. The Chevy Silverado was designed to help you tackle your to-do list and look good doing it. Whether you're taking on a big move or the ultimate tailgate, Chevy is ready with the strongest and most advanced Silverado ever. So, Dan, last week you said that the Chiefs would beat the Raiders by 14. Didn't work out. They They did win, though, by four. Yeah, credit to Derek Carr. He was awesome. Derek Carr was awesome yep. last week. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, the Raiders are a real team. Actually, you know what? That'll be my truth. The Raiders are going to win a playoff game. There it is. Okay. The Raiders are going to win a truth. playoff game. Dave, you said the Patriots are legit Super Bowl contenders. My truth is that was wrong. That's a good truth. That's, Credit um, to you. The Patriots honest. aren't going to make the There's playoffs. There's been a 180 in back-to-back weeks. That's okay. It's, it's crazy. It's tough to, uh, tough to get a read on them. And, Dion, you said the Rams will make it to the Super Bowl. You know what? I think I'm very accurate. For me. I think I'm very accurate right now. I'm very accurate. And when you got a guy like Aaron Donald up front and Jalen Ramsey who could shut down anything, 
it's hard to deal with them, man. Mm -hmm. As long as they can run the ball successfully and that play action is working, these guys, they may be my NFC favorites right now. They are They're my a good NFC team. favorites. They're a good team. And are you going to stick with that one as your truth? Yes, I am. Okay. All right. I am. All right, let's go out to the Sunday conversation with Gary V, Caleb, and Glennie Balls. Gary V, is it true that you're an immigrant? It is true. Why do you think so many immigrants are so successful at business and then other ones just go straight to professional baseball? <laughs> um, well, I think that only a certain percentage of immigrants usually south of America go into baseball. Mm -hmm. I don't see a lot of Polish baseball players. You had a chance to invest early in Uber and you didn't take it famously. Were you long on taxis? <laughs> no, I wasn't long on taxis. I was incredibly short on side projects. What about Bitcoin? Where yeah. do you stand on Bitcoin? <sighs> if you play out Bitcoin, mm -hmm. If you're a buyer of its long-term success, mm -hmm. you basically get into dynamics of war. You're pro-war. I'm anti-war, but I'm I'm definitely pro uh, innovation and disruption. What do you say to the to the heart of America, the good, simple Christian folks? How can they believe in something that they can't see? You mean like God? Bitcoin. <laughs> Understood. Uh, I, listen, I think every person watching this, mm. um, including everybody in this room right now, believes mm. in shit they can't see. You know what a lot of people ask me? And I say, I don't know the answer because I'm not Gary Vee, I can't answer. They say, is Gary Vee a thought? <laughs> I, I think it is a thought to some, mm -hmm. but, um, but to me it's just my life. Okay, let's do another segment, okay? Stare or him? Him. Royce? Yes. You're into hemorrhoids? Yes. Would you take more long poops if you knew you weren't going to get hemorrhoids? I want to take more long poops in general. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> you like why don't one? you do it? Is it a small toilet? Dude, I shit. You have a small toilet? I have a normal toilet. Uh huh. Then why not more long poops? I spend an ungodly amount of time pooping. If I go in the bathroom, I'm committing to a 27 minute execution. You have kids? I do. And is it true that they are? All also named Gary Vee? They are not. What do we say to our kids about your dirty mouth? That cursing doesn't fucking matter. When did you start cussing? How old? Probably around seven or eight. Mm -hmm. What'd you say? I don't want to make it up because I respect this show too much. Thank you. But, fuck face. 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 Okay, it's time for the Ain't Nobody Care Game of the Week sponsored by Pepsi. This football season, prepare your taste buds for the most iconic sports watching drink of all time, Pepsi. The refreshing deliciousness, specially formulated to keep your eye on the ball and mouth watering fizziness. Pepsi has everything you need to power you through game day. Pepsi is made for football watching. So Dan, this week we have the New York Giants versus the Bengals, oh. Joe Burrowless Bengals. Joe, it's Just. bad. Ryan Finley, wow. seems like a nice guy, but not a good quarterback. Uh, yeah, this game, Dion, do you, I mean, you can't care. Ain't nobody this. cares. <laughs> nobody. Giants? Giants fans are starting to like, they are. make a little yeah, bit of noise. They're the starting to bark a little so bit. Wide open. We have, in our office, we have Giants fans, but they've been so bad that you don't really know who is a Giants Correct. fan. Correct. Mm -hmm. And now they're starting to bark a little. And you're like, How? oh, How? okay. Is Glenny a Giants fan? Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, they're starting to bark. They, Glenny? They've been but, so silent since Yeah, we're the best team in the NFC by far. We're going to win this week a lot. I'll just give you the weather. Why not? Yeah. But, yeah <laughs> 44 degrees might rain a little bit, but yeah, we're going to kick some ass. It's going to be good. Uh, all right. I heard this is a uh, quite the video, so let's watch it. <laughs> Look who's back. It's Barstool Sports and Deion Sanders, baby. Ain't nobody care about this game. I care about this game, baby. Deion, Bengal Jim here. Hey, license plate guy. Everybody has license plate, Deion. Hey, license plate's nobody special. Everybody has those. It's the Giants. We're going to beat the Giants with Ryan Finley. And when he wins, we're putting a poster up here, Ryan Finley, when we beat the Giants 31-3 to this weekend. <laughs> Ryan Finley! <laughs> Watch this game. Big game. Bengals win big. Go Cincinnati. Who day? And you know what? I'm going to enjoy this victory so well because I told you guys that you must care about the Giants. Three and seven going on a tear. So as far as the Cincinnati Bengals are concerned, what do you say? 
Dion, quick prayer for Joey B. Joey, hell of a year, 2020, brother. We love you. Here's to a successful surgery, quick rehab, and see you back on that field in 2021. We love you, big dog. Who day? So apparently that was they're friends. Great yeah. editing. Yes. Yep. They are the, friends. The cross, yeah, that <laughs> some things are bigger than sports. Yep. Sure. Joe Burrow's knee. I will yeah. say that was um, the entire, I think we talked about it, and he said he'll be back in injuries, you come back. But the entire outpouring from everybody, like, oh, He's God, like no, oh, yeah. no, Joe, yeah. Joe. It's everybody loves Joe Burrow. I mean, I, I never, I feel bad for injuries. I never feel as bad as other people. I mean, he, he, he'll be back. The, the okay. silver lining for them is they will now probably lose out. They will. They'll draft Panea uh, Sewell, or however you say his name, from Oregon, who's like one of the best offensive linemen in the last 10 years. So there you go. There they, you go. They were going to lose. had Joe Burrow get hurt. So they were going to lose anyway. Yeah, they were first. But now they're definitely. They yeah, were it was first. just more exciting. They were but they were going to lose anyway. Yeah. So when you look at this game, Dion, you're going to take the Bengals or the Giants? I'm taking the Giants. You know, it's two things in that video. Antrell Roll is my guy, so his jersey in the background. I really love that. And then when the Bengals guy had Boomer Sizing up there, that assured me that I was mm -hmm. betting for the Giants. Mm -hmm. Bengals have, okay. like, all-time helmets. Those are helmets yeah. that are up there with anyone else. Mm -hmm. You're talking the... Uh... Which ones? The stripes. The old ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the old ones are the sick. Old ones yeah, the old sick. ones are sick. But the stripes yeah. are, I mean, stripes are it's, a great, awesome. it's a great helmet. Who are you guys taking? Giants. Yeah. Giants, all right. Let's go to rapid fire games of the week. We're going to start with Arizona at New England. And normally I start with Dion, but Dave, I'm just going to start with you because I don't know really where you are You are with the Patriots, so. I, well, I don't, I mean, they, they're done. They're not going to be able to make the playoffs, I don't think, at four and six unless they sweep out and play great. I'm going to take them here. I could see like a reverse of what happened. Arizona's playing well, but I, I mean, who knows? I'll take the Pats. Dan? Yeah, I'm going to try to do the very dangerous thing that we do in gambling where you try to ride the flip-flop. I'll take the Patriots here, and then next week I'll go against them. Well, I hate it. I, I hate wrong. that because I'm taking the Patriots too. Oh, I, really? I, yeah, I feel like they're going to All right, I'll take the Cardinals. In. Because I don't I don't. I gotta make, like we all got to make moves. I'm you still don't think that Kyler can be, have success I'll take the against that new I'm not defense? sold on the Cardinals for some reason. Okay. Okay. But Deshaun Watson ran all over the Patriots' defense, so you don't think Kyler could do that? They won't, Belichick would not let that happen two games in a row. I don't know. Don't talk him into it. I want to make moves. Okay. I'm taking okay. the Cardinals. We may not have the guys do it. you got to remember that I'm taking 11 the starters opted out at the beginning I'm hoping of the Cam come in a flamboyant suit because usually, you know, he, he, when he dresses really, really well, he wins. So you didn't think that was the really Yodel short? Boy? I didn't see what he had. Like. Oh, my God. Oh. Very it was all time. Yeah. It, he looked like all a, time. a That's saying a lot for Cam. And I don't know whether I mean good or bad, but all time look. All time look. All time look. Oh, no. It was an all-timer. No, you no. gotta win. You gotta win that game. So you don't like this outfit? No. I usually think he uh, looks pretty good. I didn't love that far. outfit. It wasn't my favorite. No. Had, had they won though, would you have liked it? No. Oh, you gotta win with that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what you I'm going yeah, with? Him. That, that's not as bad as the thing it is. It's just the skinny, skinny leg shorts. I've never seen that before. I, so you're sticking. With I hope, Glennie, that's not in your line, is it? Uh huh. No, no, no. Okay, I'm good. I'm sticking with Glennie Balls, and I'm going with New England. Okay, so Dan, you are taking the Cardinals. Yep. Okay. Just to make some moves. Let's go to Panthers at Vikings. Dion, we'll start with you. Minnesota. Dave? Carolina. I'm taking Minnesota. They fucked me so bad, but I'll take them. I think that was a dagger loss for the Vikings. It was. Mm -hmm. I, like that, that because they're on the cuffs, getting right back into the playoff mix, and you lose a game that you just cannot That hurt lose. my guy, too. Zimmer, he wants to beat Dallas more than anyone. I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that hurt. Let's go to Miami at the Jets, Dan. Uh, Miami, Tua. Who's starting that game? Tua's, Tua. Tua's starting. How do you take him out? How do you take him out? Because he stunk. He sucked. Because so Brian Flores it, wants to win games. I well, like but it, it does you can't then do raise the question, why did you make right. this? Right. Right. No, and then why are you going you back to Tua? You can't do that. Yeah, that's, that's why I say who's, who's going to play. But you can't do that. Yeah, it could be. Could be. You can't, take you can't do that for the confidence of the kid and your team. But let me ask you this. And I... If you if he's the guy, if two is the guy, that he shouldn't his confidence shouldn't be No. He no, should be like, no. I'm the fucking guy and then come prove quarterback right. like that. No, but he should but, that, but I like agree that. with what Dave is saying. If if he like wilts right now, then he was never the guy. Correct. Quarterbacks aren't like that. Most quarterbacks have been baby, pampered, and all that. I got a quarterback at home and I'm in his butt to make sure he's not soft like that. Throw the darn ball to the man, he's wide open. Like that's how I coach. He's wide open. Don't miss that. But if you bench, if you bench your quarterback and he can't come back from a benching, he's never going to be the you, guy. You shouldn't bench your quarterback. It's a lot of guys out there deserve to be benched, but you know you can't bench him. 
They almost so why, won the game. How, why can't you bench Wentz? Why is Wentz still fighting playing? for the that's, playoffs? That's, why is Wentz still playing? I, I agree know, with I you there. I have no answer for that. Yeah. But Tua uh, reinforced that, Tua. Uh, my, my opinion on Tua not being good, or what do you say? He's a winner? He's a winner. Doesn't look like a winner the other week. He's still winning. His record is winning in the That was a loss. It's a loss, but he won. He's winning. He's a winner. <laughs> He has a winning uh, the record. verdict's out. This should be an I, interesting game. This should be a bounce I, back I feel game. a lot, well, and it's the perfect spot to put him back because yep. you're playing the Jets. That's yep. horrible. So I'll take Miami, but I feel a lot better about all the things I've been saying about This two. may be the Jets' chance to win the one game they win this year. Well, let me tell you this. If the Jets are in this game, my guess is he could get benched again. And then, if then he get benched come. again, you can't well, go back. Right, but can't but go back it, it, it. something's drastically wrong if this is a close game because the Jets can't are go horrible. Back. Let's go to the Browns at the Jags, Dion. God, bad I know game. it's a cliche, but it's a good game. <laughs> no, it's bad. No, no, it's a bad game in the sense of these are horrible teams. But this is going to be a really close. Well, game. I mean, Cleveland's seven and three, so yeah, but they're they they fake seven and three. Put some, put they're some not a real seven on their and name. three. How? Put some you don't believe on. in Cleveland. I don't I, you don't think Cleveland's going to win one game if they luckily make it to the playoffs. You know that. But if they make it to the playoffs, that's a big deal for Cleveland. It's not a big they deal. they there in 30 years. To be whatever. bait in the playoffs, to that's be a beat down. part of the so, process. To be a Spartan can, partner in the can, playoffs. Can I ask you this? What's the difference then between them and your Baltimore Ravens and Lamar Jackson, MVP? Because mm. mm. Lamar won the MVP. And but they were bait in the playoffs. No, they're not going to be bait in the playoffs. They were bait. They yeah, they were. Bait. They were they last were year, bait. but no, they, they didn't make bait. it to be bait. They've been bait. No, they didn't they make bait. it to be bait. They've been bait. They made it, and they were the they favorite. They probably were the favorites. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. They were the favorites, right. and they lost. And they turned yeah. out to so be bait. So bait is not the favorite. No, it's, oh. deli- it's bait. actually the most delicious type Fraud. of bait. Yeah. yeah. See, that, that, that's why I need Jamie. Jamie. That's why I need Jamie. 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 You see how they but, turned together? No, no, no. It's like a... It, it, They're ganging up on you again. It's a fraudulent... The Ravens were fraudulent, like what you're saying the Browns are. They weren't are. fraudulent. Well, they yeah, lost. they were. They lost. Mm, they the were Brown, fraudulent. Do you think the Browns are good? It's, I don't think they're horrible. I don't think they're great. The Ravens are a big fish swimming, and then you take a bite, and you're like, oh, fuck, it's bait. So what are Browns? Uh, being a sausage? No, they're just kind of hanging out. I'm happy for Do you guys know what a being a sausage is? Yes. I just wanted to make a sure. hot dog, isn't it? See what I'm saying? No. You, you never lived the Vienna sausage life. <laughs> never lived that life. What is it? It's, they look like miniature hot dogs, so they come in a can. They get you by. Ugh, sounds gross. Good. A lot of sodium. <laughs> I'll take, a lot of salt. I'm taking, I'm taking Cleveland here. <laughs> I am too. I'm taking Cleveland. I'm taking Cleveland too. All right, let's go to the. I should take Jacksonville. God, I want to take Jacksonville. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. I want to take Jacksonville. Do it. Only reason because. <laughs> hey, Glennie, give me the weather. Okay, this is uh, in Jacksonville. We got 74 degrees. Oh, wow, that was actually really good. Need rain. 74 degrees in beautiful Jacksonville. Seven mile per hour winds. Gonna be overcast, but might rain later in the day, but looking like no rain, 30% chance. Never mind. I'll stay with Cleveland. Sticking with the Browns. Yep. All right, let's go. The Titans at the Colts, Dave. Yeah, be careful. Oh, two seven and three teams. Can I defer my pick? Mm-mm. Sure. Fine. Uh, then, well, I got two different answers. Well, who are you I want to take both of them. I want both of your answers. Mm. Well, I, I was just going to, I got to make a comeback. So I was going to go the opposite of you. So who's your pick, Dion? I'll take the Colts. Okay. So. I think e- either team can win this game. I'll take the Colts because they're at home. Mm. I'll take Tennessee. Mm. Okay. Gamesmanship. I, this is, I said before, this to me, just feel, Colts already beat them. It just feels yep. like something at the end of the year that they split. Like, they're one-on-one one versus each other. So, I'm happy with my pick, Tennessee. Let's go Raiders at Falcons. Dan. Oh, man. Uh, I'll take the Raiders, but uh, this does feel like a letdown yes, spot. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It really does, but I'll take the Raiders. Dave? This is a game, we, and we say it a bunch, this is a reputation game. Oh. The Raiders are mm-hmm. real. Mm-hmm. Yep. They win this game. If they're kind of the same old Raiders or still in the come up, because I think Gruden is doing a very good job, and Dan and I kind of busting his balls. Everyone was absolutely ripping Gruden when he traded Khalil Mack to the Bears. And everyone's like, oh, the Bears are the team, and the Raiders are a mess. And what's Gruden doing? Oh, how fortunes have reversed. He looks like he has the Raiders in the right direction. I'm going to take the Falcons here, though. I do think the well, letdown. You know what? I love his setup. Don't agree with everything he said. Mm-hmm. This is one of those games the Falcons would do it. Do I trust them? Do I believe in them? Not one bit. 
But the Raiders' defense are so bad. They're so bad. They're amongst the ball. They're one, two, three, four, five, six, seven teams from the bottom of the barrel defensively. So they're going to give up a lot of points. But the Falcons are going to find a way to let me down, even at home. I'm going to stay with the Raiders because they're going to run the heck out of the football. On the I'm about Falcons. to say, you can't take the Falcons. I'm not going to do you it. You can't do I it. I love them, though. <laughs> I do. You love the Falcons, just not this team. I love mm. the Falcons. Like as a franchise or this team? They, they were my first. Yeah. Never forget, Never forget your, first. your first. Never, Never. forget my first. Never. 49ers at Rams, Dion. Rams. I'm Dave. not picking against the Rams no more this year. Str- I, I think it's an upset. I think it's an upset. No, nobody's playing. Th- these guys played pretty close. They know time, each right? other so well. They, they yeah. played close games. McVay and, and, uh, and healthy. what's his name? Check Why me. am I forgetting his San name? San Fran off a bottom. Shanahan. They're, they're best healthy. friends, and they won't talk to each other about football because they're afraid they'll leak something to each other. <laughs> Who's healthy? For San Fran, check this, please. Nobody. San Fran coming Nobody off a bye. Nobody. Rams coming off a like Monday night that. win. I think it sets up for an upset. I like San Fran. Okay, Dan. I'll take the Rams, but I lo- I'm now looking at this plus seven and thinking. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. You should take San Fran. Mm-mm. Tasty morsel. No, I'm taking the Rams. <laughs> you, I, you stole my Rams take, so I was just remember everyone. I said the Rams are going to go to the Super Bowl like three weeks ago. Dion said, "Ooh, Dan is so smart. He Never seen everything. That. He's good looking. I got to see He's that. Funny." He's so smart. I'm going to take that thought and say it myself. I got to see that. We have tape. Okay, we'll get tape. All right, let's go Saints at Broncos. Dan. Uh, whoo, this is game. another one where the line, I'll take the Saints, but, man, that's, I might, uh, there might be a lot of bullets flying on Sunday. I Dave? like that Denver line. <laughs> we sticking with Hill at quarterback here, right? Yep. yep. I love taking some Hill. Mm-hmm. I'll take, I, I like New Orleans always on the road for some reason, so I'll take New Orleans. And Dion, you're a Taysom Hill guy. I love me some Taysom Hill. He said some last week that was very profound. Dan did. Dan did. And he asked who was quarterbacking for the Denver Broncos, and you called it. You called that game. I don't think you picked it. But Which you, one? You called the Denver game. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Beforehand, yeah, yes, I did. It, I said you, that. You, I don't think you picked Denver. I might not have, but I said but that you, on the yeah, on that post that. show. I was like, yeah, I feel like this that. is an uh, upset. I, somebody picked Denver. No, I don't. No, think I didn't. It. it was me. <laughs> I think, I think Dave did. Dave did. Dave did. I'll take New Orleans. Oh, I'll yeah, take sweat. New Orleans. He said somebody picked it. It was me. Great the problem is we do so many shows, and then Sunday comes around, and I've picked every game so many different ways that I can't even remember. I can't even. Yeah. That's why I bet. Yeah. Seven and seven. Because I know I did better than that. Yeah. Especially when we do this show. early in the week. Um, all right, let's finish out with Monday Night Football, Seattle at Philly. Dave, Carson never Wentz. Philly. Never. I mean, Carson Wentz, listen, terrible. I've been against so Carson bad. Wentz for a long time. Yeah. Everyone knows that's one of my, like, try with the second they chose him over Nick Foles. And everyone's like, oh, Foles sucks everywhere, and Foles is perfect. Some guys are like that. He was perfect in Philadelphia. Even I didn't know how bad Wentz was. So bad. I mean, he, you can't win with him. You cannot win with him. He is, I'll take Seattle. You cannot win with Carson Wentz. He, I don't know that I, since I've been watching football, that somebody had as much hype, and seemingly was living up and just, poof, gone. Mm -hmm. I mean, Andrew Luck to a degree, but Andrew Luck had all the injuries, and I always thought people always talked as though Andrew Luck did something, which he never did. That's a good one, Dave. But, uh, yeah. People didn't look at Andrew Luck like they look at Carson Wentz right now. Carson Wentz has lost his confidence. I see a man that's not confident. We could blame it on the weather. You could blame it on all these things. This guy ain't confident, and I know for a fact Inside the locker room, they don't believe in that no. guy, man. Mm-hmm. No. He's lost the locker room. Yep. He's lost his mojo, or if he ever had, had it. If, coming out of college, he was kind of injury prone, so we blamed it on the injuries a little bit that he acquired in the NFL. But he's lost his confidence. He's missing throws. We could blame it on the weather. He's missing throws. He can't. He couldn't hit Glenny balls with a donut right now. And no, the, he got. He, he Carson Wentz basically had the perfect okay, setup man. where he played his best football. Got hurt. They won a Super Bowl. Eagles fans were happy, delirious. Like, okay, let's go back to Carson. Everyone else got hurt around him, so his leash has been extended far longer than it probably should have. And, and, and he also had to deal with the like everyone was so on him before he got hurt, and right. he was playing great. Then you have a, a Foles comes in, MVP, Super Bowl. The pressure when he started yeah. struggling, it's like, wait a minute, what is this guy? Because mm-hmm. now before, what well, the Eagles hadn't won in forever. Right. Now you're coming off Super Bowl, and, and what, the only thing that really changed, minus injuries, obviously, the quarterback and. and He's, he has one more year of guaranteed money. Everything after that, 
they're going to get rid of him. Yep. So I want to know, is he going to make it? I don't think he's going to make it. I, 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 don't, I don't think Hurts is the guy that's probably helping him a little bit. Roan had a great prediction. He said Carson Wentz is going to be a good quarterback for the Indianapolis Colts in two years. Because Frank Reich is there. He'll go back to him. It's not a bad yeah, prediction. Not a bad like, you can just see it in your head, too. He's, he's in that company, uniform, so and it's like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah. He, but maybe if he got in a different uniform, you think he could get the confidence back? Yeah, just back? everything changed. No. No. You think he's gone forever? When you lose that confidence, you lose that confidence. Mm. Rarely have quarterbacks lost that confidence, and it was just waiting for him in the city. Yeah. 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 So Seattle across the board? Yep. Yeah. All right. We'll get to the primetime picks in just a little bit, but first let's go to the Fantasy Football Factory Minute with the guys on the podcast. Okay. Thanks, guys, and welcome back to the Fantasy Football Factory Fantasy Minute of the Week. Nick, could you start off on this one? Could you start yeah, off? of course. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I think he repeats his performance. you got to start Cooper Cup this week. C-Cup, I love him. C-Cup. Run? Run? I can't, I can't do this, man. I can't do this. C-Cup? You know who else loves C-Cups? Freaking Frank loves C cups. I know that on, Frank has been messing with my freaking wife. I know that he's been fucking my wife. No, I know you have, Frank. I know you have. You su- and don't deny it. Don't even try to deny it, Frank. I know. Don't deny it. No, I'm the, I'm an idiot. Oh bullshit, Frank. And you know how I know? She said that you licked her ass and you never called her back. Did she? She told you that, Nick. You licked her ass and you never called her back. You were licking her ass, Frank. You licked my wife's ass, Frank, and you never called her back. You got some nerve. You, oh, I'm an idiot, Frank. You were fucking my wife, licking her ass, and you say something. You know, you know this was part of the fucking entire plan. Frank, you got no. You got a fucking nerve. Oh, you know she loved that song, Frank. I'm fucking pissed. Sleeper of the week. It'll be hard to sit. Duke Johnson. Sleeping with the Johnson. Are you fucking kidding me after what Frank did with my fucking wife? Are you fucking kidding me? Frank the Tank, fuck that. Fuck that. Are you fucking kidding me? You have to be insane. You have to. Back to you, guys. Okay, primetime picks of the week presented by the Chevy Silverado. Here's our strongest pick of the week brought to you by the strongest, most advanced Silverado ever. And unfortunately, Dan, all good things have to come to an end. It sucks. Loss is luster. The Vikings fucked you. Oh. I just want to go 16-1 now. I forgot. I know. Tough. You lost. Yeah, they, they fucking smashed the watermelon, Dion. What do you want me to do? I didn't know they smashed the watermelon. I couldn't tell if you were like no, ripping them. I know. No, that just clicked. I know. That's just, how I would sad. say it to like. So that was your. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, you lost. I'm, I'm mad at the Cowboys. Oh, no, no, I'm chained I in didn't your know livelihood. That. Man. And everything you stand for. All jokes wrong. aside, I, I won't give you the five grand anyway, but all jokes aside, <laughs> I, I'm just finding out that you lost it. Socks. Wow. It sucks. That's why you say you lost this mojo. It was yeah. bad. Oh my it goodness. Really sucked mm-hmm. on no more uh, Chevy Silverado. Oh, no man. more I believe chain. No more pirate Nothing. dog chain. Nothing. Oh, Who are you gonna go? Well, yeah, I mean, are you? Giants. So, so what are we gonna do? I was gonna do? go with the we're Giants. Keep doing no, this? I'm gonna try to go 16 and one. I'm I mean, Dion did say well, you have a mulligan. Well, presented by Chevy, so we gotta do something to make this interesting. Yeah. So what? Maybe a little. Maybe I get a little car. Maybe maybe they can give me a remote control car. If I go 16 and one, that'd be nice. 16 and one. I live. <laughs> that'd uh, be it's, nice. It's holiday season. I live for remote control. Oh, actually, okay. Here we go. Chevy. And I like those ones that you could drive yourself. Yes. I never had one. Power wheels. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Here we go, Chevy. You saw someone at Power Wheels. Yep. Oh, I had it. Pimping. There it is. My son <laughs> is 17, 17 months old. Let's get him a Power Wheels if I go 16 and one. A Chevy Probably Silverado Power Wheels. Do they have one? We I'm could find sure. one. They do. Get it like a customized no, no, license plate. Yeah. We send them to the hood. Yeah. Baby cat. Ten thousand dollars for Jackson. sick. <laughs> Look at that thing. Yes. You see, he play like here he we go. Right. All we right. Send him to Jackson. He, he, sick. Yeah. That's nice. I, I, on mine, I had a customized license plate. You should get it. it says you know, baby cat. Something yeah. Like that. I don't. Oh, no. I, yeah. That's I've never. Nice. Yeah. yeah I always yeah. wanted one nice. as a kid. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Done. All right. There it is. So now. Just went from a seventy-five thousand dollar truck to a four hundred. Four hundred. That's a good deal. That's but you'll make your Vikings son happy. Said. That Everybody was the watermelon. Won. The watermelon smash did that to me. So I have no idea. I have the Giants. Yes, Dion. No, now you're screwing with me. No, I'm straight up. I did. I just found out. True. Suck. <laughs> Suck. Who are you taking this week, Dan? Giants. Giants. Dave. Uh, I mean, who I cares? Where, where's my sheet at? There's Bills. Bills. Did I already take the Bills? You no. didn't take You have not. Bills. And Dion? I'm trying to figure out who hadn't I taken yet. Dion, you are going to take, I'll tell you who you you're going to take. You picked for me. You're going to take. 
Uh, Seattle. You're gonna take Seattle. I'll take Seattle. You're okay. gonna take Seattle. All gonna, right. I'll take Seattle. Okay, uh, Glenny, thank you so much. Appreciate it, thank you for having okay, me. Okay, I'll tell you yes. what, you guys do this for me on Thanksgiving. Text what time you start eating, and we'll see if there's a difference. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm not doing Thanksgiving. Perfect. How can you not we'll text? Because I don't want to kill my parents. Yeah, I'm not going home to my parents. Because that's just in case funny. the COVID is, like, I'm yeah. traveling. Yeah, but you still got to eat. I'll eat, but I'm not going, like, to my family. So yeah, I'm not but you still going to have All right, I'll text you when I eat. Who are you going to have? What are you going to have a few I don't know. I, I haven't decided what I'm doing yet. Nicki Minaj and all that. Remember I don't think over? she's coming over. All right, let's toss it to these guys with live updates on Sunday.